who is the greatest player to be named later of all time? Now, this is only really a baseball thing, right? Parlay kid. I don't, I try to look for football and other sports and NBA, but this is, uh, this is essentially a baseball term player to be named later. Sure. It seems like it. I can't yeah. recall any other sport where you hear that. So. Yeah, yeah, so here, here's who the captain put in front of us, and he wants us to bet on this. I don't know how you bet on something like this, but David Ortiz, recent Hall of Famer, minus 350. He was a player to be named later. You could take him. Shoeless Joe Jackson, oh, one of the greats, plus 180. Moises Alou from the famous Alou family, 7-1 to one odds. Crash Davis from Bull Durham, set 35-1 to one odds. I don't know if we can count that. Or the field at 3-1 to one odds. Uh, Harry, uh, start us off. Do you like any of those? Are you going to go field? I do. I like those selections. And at 35 to one, I am going to take Crash Davis. Wow. Of the Durham Bulls. He, look, he changed the Bulls, all the players on the team, uh, on the field, off the field, told, told Nuke uh, Lelouch uh, many baseball well, life <laughs> lessons, uh, hit the most minor league homers in history. Do you remember the number? How many guys? Do you remember what the number was? No. Any guess? Darren? No? Uh, 325. Career home runs? Career home runs in the minor leagues. Remember, he had the uh, most home uh, runs yeah, in the minor 352. leagues. 352. Well, it was 247, a little lower, but he also got the girl <laughs> at the end. He got Annie Savoy at the end of the movie, too. So I'm going <laughs> to give it to Crash Davis being the best uh, best one there is. Okay. All right. You don't think Shoeless Joe Jackson had a run with uh, Shirley Temple back in the day? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, don't even, I can't even get the, the years right. So, uh, yeah. So David Ortiz was uh, the twin sent Dave Hollins to Seattle. Um, and then Seattle sent back Ortiz a couple weeks later. I'm just looking at some of these. The Pirates sent two minor leaguers to Montreal for Zane Smith, and then the third player ended up being Moises Alou, which is weird because it was a uh, you know it was a, a, a you would think that he would be good, and they could see that he'd be good because of the family name. Um, Shoeless Joe Jackson was traded for like six thousand dollars in uh, 1909. Connie Mack uh, did that. Um, so that's a three. And then Harry uh, talk, told us about Crash Davis. Uh, Parley Kid, who are you going with? Greatest player to be named later. Well, for me, and I'm, this is a personal pick of mine. Uh -huh. So, uh, I, you know, so 1997, uh, Yankees were looking to, uh, in the offseason, looking to unload, any way to unload the awful Kenny Rogers. What a nice career, but he was just one of those guys who could not handle New York. Uh -huh. uh, they sent him, uh, somehow found uh, a taker in Oakland who uh, then afterwards sent a player to be named later back to the Yankees in Scott Brocious, who mm. was coming off a year where he hit 203 for the A's. But, man, was Brocious a great fit for the Yankees uh, in 1998, had a fantastic season hitting 300 for the Yankees, 19 home runs, played an excellent third base. And to Brocious' is credit, played three more years after that, was able to get out at the age of 34 after having a four Terrific years for the Yankees. Always like Scott Brocious. I believe he's coaching out west somewhere, maybe some college ball. Uh, great player, solid player, solid player. I can't say great, but just a solid player, personal favorite of mine for All those right. uh, those late 80s, uh, early 2000 Yankees teams. Yeah. At late eighties, early two thousands. What did what did he do? <laughs> it took that decade uh, off. Late nineties, late nineties, late nineties. Nineteen ninety eight. Scott Brocious. Yeah. I, <laughs> listen, I, I I watched. Uh, by the way, am I the only one watching the Derek Jeter documentary? I get the feeling that I am. But Brocious, instrumental in that ninety eight World Series, made the last out, and all the same. Harry, Harry you're not watching. I'm guessing. Clutch Brian, player. You guys clutch, watching? Yeah. Clutch player. Yeah. Yeah. Babyface, wow. you have not seen it with all the Yankee talk. You've seen uh, under one and a half episodes, I'm guessing. I mean, I've watched every episode. Come on. And and Scott Brocious <laughs> was uh, a key part. That's why when when uh, Aaron Boone came in, it was uh, well, later on. But the 01 World Series, that was like the last of the night of the Yankee dynasty. All right. Okay. I, I stand corrected. Guys, you definitely watched. <laughs> how many guys get out when, uh, a year when they hit 287 like Brocious in 2001? That's pretty oh, impressive. God. He retired oh. at the age of 34. Just said, I'm done. I had enough. Did enough winning. Believe. How much more winning can I do? I can't believe um, he hit 287. 287. 287 he he can get Juan Soto money now if he hit 287. <laughs> <for sure. laughs> Bry, all right, so your brother, uh, Parley Kid, went off the board. He went field, Scott Brocious. Harry took Crash Davis. Bry, who are you going with? Pl best player to be named later. Well, I'm saying you can't take David Ortiz, right? Because that was a trade between the Mariners and the Twins, and we know, right? I mean, he was solid. 
he was solid on the Twins, but not you know nearly what he became. So I right, I, I, can, right, I can't right. make him at minus three fifty. I can't take him, but I'm taking the field, and I didn't even realize this until I started looking into it. But I'm going with Trey Turner. So Is Trey, that right? I didn't see him on any of the yeah, list. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Trey Turner was traded. Nuts. He was part of a three way trade between the mm. Padres, Nationals, and the Rays. I think that was mm. the was that the Will Myers trade, maybe. But the Nationals basically gave up nothing in that trade. The crazy, you know what the crazy thing about that is the year before or like six months before he was a first round pick for them. He was their first round pick, I think like the 13th or 16th pick in the draft. And then the next year or even in the off season, he's the player to be named later, which was, which was crazy. And I will say, which for Trey Turner, I never really thought of him, even when he's on those Nationals team, I never, you know, I, I never appreciated like how great he is, but like yeah. what I've watched, I, I guess because I've watched more, maybe more Dodgers games, and right. he he is one of the best players in baseball. Like yeah, I, he I for feel sure like is. he's on base all the time, and obviously he was an integral part of the Nationals winning that World Series. So I, mm-hmm. that's why I just think that's why I think he's the biggest one because he helped. He was the reason they won, uh, or you know, one of the two or three reasons they won that World Series. I mean, I love him. I have him at 11 to one. I won with him last year to have most hits in the league. He's right there neck and neck with Freddie Freeman again this year. Does he still have that hitting streak? He, I mean, he got a home run yesterday, right? So I think he still has that, that crazy hitting Does streak. He? Yeah, know. he might. Yeah. He might. Well, maybe it's 13 out of 14, so somewhere uh, somewhere in there. All right. That's a good choice. You know what? I'm going with Jesse Orozco. Yep. Synonymous with my New York Mets. Probably, you know, one of the top three best relievers and. Mets history finished third NL Cy Young in 1983. And most importantly on the mound for the most important recorded out in baseball history. That's the last out of the 1986 world series. They traded him for Jerry Kuzman. It was Kuzman for Greg field, uh, who I barely remember. And then Jesse Orozco came a couple months later. So Jesse Orozco, there you go. There's well, my guy. Kuzma was one of the most underrated pitchers of all time. He really time. was, right? Even in the American League, he did well, Kuzman right? Kuzma was just really good. Yeah. So Sal, don't, really good. don't forget, Sal, when you threw out your first pitch, right? At, right. At the at Mets. Wait, was that that was at City Field or City Shea? Field, I can't yep. even remember. It was City Field already. Yeah, you mimicked Jesse Orozco, right? When I did. Uh, Thank yeah, you for true. recognizing that. I think you were one of six people in the entire stadium who knew what the hell I was doing. I threw the yeah. ball. Uh, I threw my glove uh, way up in the air <laughs> after like uh, barely getting the ball over the plate. And then I jumped in. Uh, who was it? Anthony Recker? Big solid catcher. I don't know. I think he's he's a Mets. He's like a Mets. Um, what is like the post game guy now for the Mets, right? Anthony I think Recker? so. I think he's on I think so. Yet. So there you F- go. I think it was 51 miles an hour. We don't know for sure. <laughs> I, I I remember at the time I got an app to try and calculate yeah. when he released it and he caught it. I think I got like 51 miles. An hour. That was yeah, nice. Yeah, was pretty good. Sal was Sal. <laughs> Better than uh, Steph uh, Curry throwing out the first pitch of the day. So little fact with Kuzman. Won three yeah. games with the Mets in his last season in 78. Then won twenty with Minnesota the next with year. With Minnesota, wow! Yeah. Went from Is three wins was? to twenty wins. Two two hundred twenty two wins on his career. Twenty five hundred plus strikeouts. I'm trying to think because that was so. That's seventy eight, seventy nine. That's five years after the their the World Series loss to the A's. About ten years, eight, nine, or ten years after the sixty nine team. Yeah, they probably had him for washed up. He was well into his thirties at that point too. A 20, 20 game winner. Wow. Pretty good. All right. Thanks, Captain. That was fun. Uh, Best player to be named later of all time. 